There are a lot of uh, key happenings at the School of Engineering at MIT at the moment. I think one of the biggest ones is the increasing interdisciplinarity of research and education. Um, you see that most of our faculty and students are motivated by trying to solve the world's problems. And what we recognize is to do that, we have to bring together different disciplines. So we have increasingly very large scale projects involving hundreds of researchers even um, to address some of these really difficult problems. We also have been introducing flexibility into our educational programs, uh, even at the undergraduate level. In fact, in the School of Engineering, the fastest growing educational program is our flexible engineering degree. And what we see with that degree is that it is now our second largest degree in the school. And why it's so popular is because around a core of disciplinary depth, students are allowed to wrap anything that interests them that satisfies the engineering requirements. So it's a mechanism to allow students to really explore deeply uh, the, the theories and the methodologies that they need, the technologies to solve whatever challenge they're trying to address. So MIT um, right now is focusing on a number of things. Uh, one of them is new technology for education. And so there, we formed a partnership now with over 40 different universities and companies to look at the role of technology and online learning in education. And we have two goals with this. One is to use this technology to improve the education that our students experience on, camp on campus. So for example, we can record lectures. Students can watch those lectures in their dorm uh, before class. And then when they go to class, they can experience what we're calling the upside down classroom, which is they come in having already heard the lecture, and then they have hands-on experiments and close interactions with the professor to, to really understand the concepts that are in the lecture. So with these technologies, we're working to enhance and improve residential education. And our second goal is to provide MIT education to the world, access to that education anyway, online. So MIT's secret to generating outstanding entrepreneurs is it hires superb faculty and research staff, and we attract fantastic students. So in many ways, entrepreneurship is in the DNA of people at MIT. And as long as we allow these people the, the resources they need, the flexibility they need to follow their passion, we'll produce entrepreneurs. So MIT is addressing the key challenges in the energy sector through a very large scale energy initiative. It was launched in the fall of 2006, and since then, over one quarter of the faculty at MIT are doing research on energy. And we have, since 2006, launched over 800 research projects. So we are very intensely working to address the challenges associated with energy.